Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. In this one I have for you game one of a best of five between Mix and T-Man players in the grand final of the Division 1 playoffs of the Warno League. Today they are playing on Vertigo Duel and on our left in the red team we have T-Man players playing with the 119th Tank Brigade and on our right in the blue team we have Mix90 playing with the 5th French Armoured. Both of the players have come a long way to be here. Mix managing to knock out Sotek in the quarterfinals and Tofuk in the semi-finals. And T-Man plays he came through Lathans in the quarterfinals, which was an awesome, awesome best of three. And then he defeated Dark Neutron in the semis quite handily. They've both reached the final, which means they have a minimum payout of $115. If they win this best of five, they will get $231. So just over $100 on the line here between these two players. So all to play for as we head off into the first game of this best of five. Let's have a quick look at what's going down for both players. T-Man plays with the Spesnaz OP and the Spesnaz GRU opener on the top side. Two Spesnaz OP, Spesnaz, Spesnaz GRU on the bottom side. Best as following up on the top side as well. Uh, in the center, we got the T80 BVK, double Strela 10M to keep those alive, BMP 1P, Women's Strike BMP, and the Ural there, early supply. On the side of Mix 90, he's going to be leading with a Alouette, bringing up some Super Pumas with the Commandos. He's got an AMX 10 RC and an AMX 10 RC Sublinda. Then he's got a couple of fighters early on and well would you look at that so does t-man t-man has one mig 29 it manages to take out the f1c very early on the second f1c really not doing the job now the mig 29 can get on the tail does not land either of its first two missiles but has more missiles to give the cannon finishes the job that mig 29 two four zero the third mig f1c can it get a shot on target? No, it cannot. The Semac radar missile does not hit the mark, but the Super Pumas have landed unopposed and managed to get some commandos into some pretty good positions on this bottom side. Meanwhile, AMX-10 creeping up into the middle of the map, getting some really good position here to cut off reinforcements. And the other AMX-10 heading down to support the commandos. Meanwhile, P4PC moving into position to capture. Mix has got himself off to a reasonably good start in Conquest points, but losing two F1Cs like that and not managing to get any damage at all onto the MiG-29 is a really, really rough way to begin in terms of trading points. And T-Man, he plays for those trades, and so far, so good. Spessner's OP. Does take out the VAB and we're bringing in the Grens. The Spetsnaz lay in wait to engage those. The SAMX 10 has given away its position as it shoots at the infantry on the backside. The Spetsnaz GRU moving in to try and harass it. The MI 24V going to be looking to get its 122 mil rockets on target as well as the Cocon missile. The MX 10, very, very fast indeed, is going to be able to escape into the mountain there into the trees Escote getting killed off very very quickly tanking the shots of the napalm RPO of the Spesnaz and Mirage F1C this is such an awesome aircraft very very fast great for shooting down helicopters that's exactly what Mix is trying to do here as he comes in for the second run onto the Mi-24V but the second infrared missile misses the MiG-29 not able to follow up on that and now might die itself. This time around can the Mirage do the job? No it cannot. And the Mi-24V able to get its rockets on target briefly on the bottom side. Commandos are under threat as there is no AA to stop the Mi-24K. And the Spesnaz GRU, Monostrauki, BMP-1 and T-80 BVK going to be putting the pain down onto these infantry and the commandos they don't have Apalas, they have LRACs so the T-80 BVK can actually tank those in the front armor pretty nicely 
Now Mick's looking to take even more ground here. He really wants this tree line. Now this tree line, super important on this map. If you can control this tree line, you can make it very difficult for your opponent to ever take back this sector, which would be really, really nice for um, Mix 90 to do. But the trouble is, he is relinquishing ground up here to quite a sizable force. The commandos go down, the Monastrauki and Spetsnaz have not lost a man yet. I don't expect the Escudier to do much damage either. But at least in the trees here, the infantry, supported by their armour, have managed to make a big dent into the Spetsnaz squad. So Mix90 putting up a great fight here up against T-Man, and he's even managed to secure, cheekily, the sector on the top side here. Wow, that P4 PC moving in there, managing to find the cap. Now the MX-10 sub Linda. Oh, risky, risky business. Peeking through the smoke against the TATU. Goes down, and the Spessnaz OP take out the MX-30 B2 Brennis. Unnecessary loss there. I can't help but feel for Mix-9T. That was extremely greedy. Trying to push forwards that tank like that. He knew the Spessnaz OP were there. He fired at it with the AMX-10 previously. What a waste. Now the commando is backing up because they have nothing to deal with the MI-24K. Mirage with one c though. Hits the MI-24K, kills a MiG-29 in the back line whilst damaged. Not bad. Not bad day for the MiG for Mirage uh, F1C. Starting to trade back some of that uh, aircraft, but losing instead on the ground. The AMX-10 uh, RC sub Lindy, those things are not very abundant, and so losing them is unfortunate. But the BNP-1P getting cleaned up by another AMX-30 B2 Brennis. Quite quickly indeed. Now the B2 Brennus is the best tank, I think, that the French get. 19 penetration. Um, pretty nice gun, honestly, for side-shotting stuff at range. Oh, decent kill there. BCR60 PBK went down, stopping the recap on the top side. Mix now quite happily continuing to tick the plus two. The MX-10 P's have been destroyed, bringing in these chasseurs. But that is plenty of infantry to force the Spessnaz out of position. I believe it must have been this MX-10 RC here that managed to clean up the unit there. But this is a fast and furious game. Plays being made all over the place at all times. MX-30 B2 though. Able to clean up the infantry in the open, so that's good. Alright, Chasseurs. Friends, can they clean up the Spetsnaz here with the VAB? The VAB can't really be damaged by the normal Spetsnaz, but Spetsnaz GRU do have an AT weapon if it gets too close. At the moment, though, the 122mm rockets of the MI-24V were able to fire, and they do significant damage. Nice kill by the Jaguar lands both of its infrared missiles to get the kill that onto the MI-24V. Now one thing that T-Man is kind of falling into the trap of is sending his helicopters into this battle. The helicopters, they always suffer massively against uh, the French because the French have very good anti-helicopter aircraft. But since a lot of the Mirages, actually, well, the two of the Mirages were taken out early on, this MI-24V here, free to take out the MX-10, the MI-24K, cleaning up the chassis. So it's not quite enough of these planes coming in to kill off these helicopters. And the great thing about those Mirages is as soon as you kill off the helicopters, you can also use them to strafe enemy infantry. They are pretty effective at doing so. But at the moment, no fighters to be seen. And t is going to take full advantage. Getting the 23mm autocannon on target as well. So my 24V going to get the Yak-B on target. The MX-10RC in a bad spot. But the Ronin True. 
Nice. There we go. That's what we like to see. The Mirage F1C using only one infrared missile and getting the kill. Huge. Ends up trading for the MiG 29s, so into the MiG 29s. Not great. T A T U. Ooh, not good. Roland 2. It's going to go down, surely. His gem coming in. Ronan 2 doesn't have smoke. Down it goes. So he did manage to take out one helicopter, but lost the aircraft in the process. The trouble is, in the meantime, Mix lost so much stuff on that top side. He lost all of the infantry that he brought in to make that push. And he lost his AMX 10 RCs. Really, really nasty. Jaguar is not going to get close with its four 400 kilogram bombs as the MiG-29 forces it off. Now Gazelle coming in with the Hot 1. And the Hot 1, not the best Asia gem at all. And the MiG-29's going to chew him up regardless. Does get traded into though, as the Roland 2 and the Mistral manage to land their missiles on target. So I would say, you know, losing the Gazelle, probably worth killing a MiG-29 for. Not too bad. With the same X10, he needs to get rid of this BMP1. Currently, I don't think it could see the BMP1. It should have been able to see it, surely. Here we go again. Mirage F1C, this time not able to get the kill onto the MI24V. Meanwhile, MX10 goes down. Jaguar coming in for the bomb strike onto the TATU. Leaves the TATU on one health. That is unfortunate. Now, MiG 29 looking to intercept. Not able to do so. Mistral misses. Will the Mirage F1C finish the job? It does indeed. Another MiG-29 going down. And it's really cool to see all of these air engagements occurring so far. But Mix holding on to that plus two all the while. Continuing to count up those points. But this top side really is falling apart. And T-Man, he's looking at these trades. And I would say overall... He's not in a bad position because he hasn't man really lost any of his like big tanks. And Mix, meanwhile, has lost a lot of his like armor. Like the MX 10s have all gone down. He lost the B2 Brennus. He's lost all of his infantry and the APCs on the top side. Whilst T Man, you know, he's only sacrificed like a few infantry squads here and there so far. Like the initial forces that T Man brought up forward deploy, those are the ones that have gone down. Whereas anything significant that he's brought in since has been relatively fine. So now we're going to see TATPVK move in here, cap this back. That's going to neutralize the plus two. And then this TATPVK is just going to continue to drive towards the next objective. Oh no, he didn't full cap it. Yeah, he's going to continue up here and cap this afterwards. And then that's going to be a plus two, in fact, for T-Man. So Mix losing ground on this top side might turn things around completely. And if these T-80s get into position in, the, in this tree line, it's going to make it real hard for these AMX 30B2s to push back. So AMX 30s, they're nice and all. And, they, and the other good thing about AMX 30s is they are able to always do at least one damage to the T-80s. But that's all they will be doing to the T-80s. <laughs> um, the T-80 BBK and the T-80U will absolutely slam those AMX 30s into the bin. And meanwhile, Grens on the bottom side going to get hit by the Specialist OP and the Monostrauki at close range. The, these Grens are low on cohesion, so that's going to be a winning engagement for the infantry of T-Man. Besides GRU, at least go down to the MX-30 and the Grens further up. These commandos have managed to get their launches on target of the T-80, bringing the cohesion down. But the T-80 is still going to be able to pump a lot of DPS there. One of the MX-30s did get picked off on the top side. Oh, Jack coming in. Let's have a look. Let's see if that can kill the T-80. It is damaged. Oh, it's on one health. Manan finishes it off very nice indeed. Oh, but the Strela 10 M's. At least taking down the Jaguar in reply. That is very significant. If these commandos can be pulled back a little bit and fixed up with a supply, 
then McMix could really start to build a big advantage here. But it seems as though the MI-24V, that's going to finish off the Milan 2. I would not be surprised if it finishes off the Commandos as well. The Grens on the bottom side, the Apalas Grens, actually allowed to be killed off as well. Infantry conservation mix, please. <laughs> Bring in supply trucks to this bottom side. <laughs> it's a bit late now, unfortunately. Well, I say that, I mean, both of these commandos being fixed up would be very nice. But here comes the Cocon for the VAB. Both of these units running away for T-Man. As he allows Mix to take back that sector for the time being. But he set himself up nicely on this top side. He's got the T80 BVK here. He's got the T80 U. He's got even some supply in here in order to um, fix things up and uh, keep the Shrella 10 M's topped up with missiles. P4 PC is sneaking around from mix, but in the Vertigo dual version, this isn't so much of a problem. Like, yes, he can sneak it in here and try and cap this, but he's got a long way to go if he wants to cap this sector. What used to happen on the Vertigo map before they created the dual version is there used to be like a two point sector here and a two point sector here. And it used to be that like doing sort of CV flanking like this was actually quite common, a lot more common than it is now. Uh, but that P4 PC, yes, it might be able to briefly cap this, but as soon as that happens the first time, T Man's going to be on it. So he's got to time it right if he's ever going to do it. Meanwhile, another Mirage coming in for a go at the MI-24V. Not able to find the kill. And now going for the MiG-29. Doesn't end well. MiG-29. Free kill. And gets out. No problem. Jaguar also evac because he saw the MiG-29 win against the Mirage. I'm not going to attempt face against that either. So no bombing strike coming in. T-Man looking very limited on this bottom side. One thing that I will say is the 119th is a very interesting choice of division. It is one that I saw T-Man practice a lot, but there is a huge weakness in infantry. Now it has a lot of good infantry initially, you know, you get one kind of Spetsnaz, you get Spetsnaz OP. Uh, we saw the Spetsnaz GRU even. Like, all of those Spetsnaz are great, but you get very, very limited amounts of them. So as soon as they're dead, that's pretty much it. You know, and he's got like five cards total of infantry, and th and two of those cards are Spetsnaz OP and Spetsnaz, right? After that, you're just looking at his Modestrelki and uh, whatever else he has in his recon tab, which is going to be... Motoros Vitka in this space, which is a, a nice supplement because it does kind of, they're, they're big enough to kind of act on their own and they have an RPG-22, so against French armor they're going to be adequate. But yeah, the Modestrelki BMP-1s is going to be the majority of his infantry, uh, but it's very, very limited in number compared to the amount that Mix can get. So Mix90 making his play with the P4PC. He is going to be capping that sector. But the T80 BVK going to be immediately moving back to capture it back. And T Man from now on will probably just leave the Motras Vedka here to prevent the P4 PC from doing that again. So, yeah. Mix is going to get himself some extra conquest points on the board. I'm not sure it was necessary to do that at the moment. You know, Vortage is going to be moving through here, cleaning up T-Man's infantry, which is really nice. SU-24 being used by T-Man. Will do some significant damage to the MX-30 if it hits the mark, but it does not. Does also get hit on the way out. Yeah, those SU-24s always lack luster. But double jag onto the T-80 BVK. No chance. Can the Strellas take a kill? No, they cannot. And the MiG-29, can it land a missile on target? Oh! Did that count as a kill? I don't think it did. That was so close. So close. 
especially as OP actually getting pretty close here. Then MX30 B2 is going to have to be careful. It is, meanwhile, pumping damage onto the bottle of Vedka, though. TATU moving up to engage. <laughs> no chance. Between the TATU, the Spessons OP, the AMX 30 going up in flames very quickly. These Spessons, meanwhile, running in nice and close range against Grenadiers. This Grenadier is not going to be able to do anything against the Spessons, really. Napalm going to be forcing them to move. And then if they get too close, the shock trait kicks in. Things just go from bad to worse. The TATU now having to deal with the Milan 1 and the VAB Milan. Nice thing about all the tanks in the 119th is they have significant front armour and they have explosive reactive armour, which gives them plus 2 health in this game. So you got 12 health and 19 front armour. <laughs> and these Milans, they only have 17 penetrations. So they're only doing 1 damage in the front armour. So you can pretty much tank a lot of them <laughs> before they even become a problem. The main thing you're always concerned about when tanking Asia Gems like that is cohesion. That's always the uh, the main worry. But yeah, so far things remaining relatively stable for T-Man on the top side. He's got himself a really good position up there. Now he's going to try and take back his position on the bottom side. Now the interesting thing about the way that it's worked out so far is that like, Mix just hasn't really been training as well on the ground. So, whilst it looks like oh, one player has position on the top side and one position has player on the bottom side, Mix's position on the bottom side is significantly weaker than Team Man's is on the top side, which is what's allowing Team Man to push back in through here. And you see that two AMX B2 Brennises have already gone down. The Apalas here actually failed to get the side shot onto the TATU, which was really savage. But a nice kill from the Jaguar onto the TATU. Does take out one of them at least. But now we've got the wave of Monostrauki forcing these back. MiG-29 flying overhead. Yeah, Mix has just been cleaned out here. Systematically. The MI-24's perfect amount of support here. Infantry leading the charge. APCs following up, tanks for fire support, helicopters for fire support, AA to stop enemy bombers. Unfortunately, the Strellas really haven't been doing too great at shooting down these Jaguars, but uh, other than that, you know, it's been really, really nice setup push here for T Man, and it looks like he will be able to get back in here. <laughs> Mix again, <laughs> managing to get this in. I can't believe that uh, T Man hasn't left something here just to kill that <laughs> if it tries to do it again. The funniest thing is that Mix might actually run out of fuel on the P4 PC. It looks like he's going to try and hide it in the corner here. I feel like if he moved it down slightly, he could probably get away with that. As soon as T-Man sees it's contested, he can hunt for the P4 PC with the T80 BBK. And that P4 PC ain't having a good time. Hey, Mix 30 B2. On the bot side, going to get contested now. Smoked itself off, but hasn't moved. That's not good. That's not good at all. Because it's just going to get shot as soon as the smoke goes down again. Recon aircraft taken out by the Strellas. BMP-1. <laughs> oh no, the BMP-1 getting the kill. T-80 BVK moving forwards here. Will take out the P-4 PC. So no more backline CV shenanigans for Mix 90. AMX Alpha 1 though, coming onto the field, has started to hit the T80 BVK. The first shot doing pretty well there. The follow-ups not going to be fast enough. Motoraz Vodka did go down to the Chasseurs and the AMX 10P, but just the abundance of heavy armor here is absolutely brutal for Mix to deal with. He can bring in as many Milan 1s as he likes, but they're just not really going to cut it against the health of these TATUs. Neither of the AMX 30 B2s. You can just see the difference in damage. AMX 30 taking 7 damage, these TATs only taking 1 damage per shot. Now the BMP 1s being used. 
Now, unfortunately, this might be a little bit ambitious here from T-Man. I think he was hoping that the main gun of these BMPs might do some damage, but they're so inaccurate. 35% accuracy on the main gun. Yes, the Age of Gems hit there, but the MX-30B2s, they do have auto cannons, and that's what does a lot of damage against those lighter vehicles. Now, double commando coming in here. Interesting. Not quite sure if I'm feeling this play from Mix-90. <laughs> Incredibly risky. Especially... Maybe he was relying on the AMX-10 recon there? I'm not quite sure what brought him to do that. Shredder 10M does get picked off by the AMX-30B2 on the way out, but... Yeah, that was a very odd play. Double Super Puma Commando just getting shot down. Commandos do not survive the crash. Well, no infantry survives the crash in this game. So, just wasting assets on the top side, whilst continuously trading badly on the bottom side, things are seemingly going from bad to worse, as both the chassis have been taken care of now here. The TATU can freely drive up and shoot the AMX-30s. Spestas are taking a lot of damage though. E-Man doesn't want to lose them for free. Yeah, I'm really surprised by the way that was was done. You know, he, he was managing to sneak in his leader behind before. So I would have imagined maybe he would like try and go around the side and then like try and deploy those commandos further back. Or you know, at least make a push on the ground first before bringing the helicopters up like that. Regardless, bomber strike coming in for the T80 BVK. Another Jag coming in to try and finish it off with the MiG-29 already in the sky, so that will force it away. No follow-up, unfortunately, so Jaguar survives and so does the MiG-29 as the Mistral face fails to do its job alongside the Ronin-2. But slowly but surely, we can see the trades just mounting up in favour of T-Man. And yes, T-Man has been behind on conquest points for the majority of the game. But ultimately, I don't think that really matters when he's losing so many of his forces. And that's a death for the SU-24. But it did manage to clean out a couple of units of infantry. So not a complete waste. I still remain the same about SU-24s. They are lacking, to say the least. And the AMX-30 trying its best to stay alive, but takes a hit just before it smokes. And you can just see on the right-hand side here, next to the minimap, the kill feed. Anytime a blue kill pops up, that's Mix losing another unit. And the majority of the game, it's been blue as more T-80s come on. How many T-80s has he got now? Like one, two, three, four, five on the bottom side. He's got the two on the top side. The seven. He's got two more arriving. It's nine. Another one coming up on the back side. That's ten. Whilst Mix, he has no tanks left on the front line. <laughs> He's got a AMX 10RC, two AMX 30B2s, another AMX 32B2, on the back side that's heading around to the bottom. Honestly, just a, a real masterclass with this division on this map. Really nicely done, team man Really nicely done indeed. Um, the 119th is perfectly suited for that map just because it has the heaviest tanks in the game. And yeah, Mix just trading badly throughout, really. It all started with that double kill onto the Mirage F1C, which was really sad to see for me because I love the Mirage F1Cs. Like, the French can be incredibly fun to watch when somebody is, like, hyper-aggressive and manages to get ahead in that position. But unfortunately, Mix was hyper-aggressive but wasn't ahead. So he just kind of ended up throwing units away. And, uh, yeah, Mix... 
it's like his play style with those divisions is like being very hyper aggressive and constantly trying to capitalize on his positioning but team man's just going to soak it up and take the trades and then over time build up just a bigger force than you that you can't deal with and that's exactly what happened this time around 27 minutes 53 seconds game one goes to team man 6,515 kills, 3,335 losses. That MiG-29 had a very good day. Three F1Cs and a Jaguar. Nice. The T-80Us, fantastic. MI-24Vs, like the helicopters actually were doing a great job in this game as well, particularly the MI-24 with the 122mm rockets. But yeah, the T-80Us basically untouched this game, other than by the bombers. The Jaguar Bombers, of course, did manage to sneak through and get a couple kills there, particularly against the, the T-80 BVKs. Uh, the Milan 1 finishing off this one after it got bombed, and then uh, this Jaguar has managed to kill off two T-80s there. Yeah, rough game for Mix, but uh, shows his style and how T-Man can soak it. We'll have to see if things get adjusted moving into game two, because T-Man looking very, very strong against Mix's playstyle. That's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.